Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome again guys. Welcome back to another video lecture by Kami Micro by Arvuchester. Today in this video we are going to see the bismuth sulfate agar medium. So this is actually the video lecture regarded to the culture medium. And in the previous 28 videos lecture if you guys remember we talked different culture medium. Okay. So now it's time to talk about the bismuth sulfate agar medium. So what is bismuth sulfate agar medium? So let's talk about this. So remember bismuth sulfate agar medium is actually the selective as well as the differential medium. And we mostly use it for the isolation and identification of salmonella species. Mostly salmonella typhi. Okay. So if we want to isolate uh, salmonella species, uh, so we have to isolate the salmonella species, uh, species using this medium uh, from, which some, from which sample or specimen mostly from clinical food, uh, savage uh, and environmental sample. Using these samples we can easily isolate the salmonella species. Uh. The next uh, point says that salmonella, uh, this uh, bismuth sulfate agar medium is also called the Wilson and Bailey medium because it is mostly, uh, you know, uh, formulated and discovered by these two scientists, Wilson and Bailey. That's why their name is also Wilson and Bailey medium. Then we have the composition of uh, this medium. So remember, this medium is composed of peptone, HM, peptone B, agar distal water glucose or we can say dextrose dipotassium uh, disodium potassium ferrous sulfate uh, bismuth sulfate indicator and brilliant green so these are the amount that we need uh, in one liter so when we mix all these ingredient in one liter so we will prepare the bismuth sulfate agar medium let's see the principle of the ingredient which we talked uh, or the principle of this media so the presence of the peptone HM peptone B. These two ingredients are very important because it provides carbon, nitrogen, long amino acid chain as well as vitamin and essential growth factor that is necessary for the growth of bacteria. Then we have dactrose that is act as a carbon source. We have dipotassium, uh, disodium potassium that can maintain the osmotic equilibrium. Bismuth sulfate indicator as well as uh, the brilliant green. Uh, these two ingredients will inhibit the growth of gram positive as well as the gram negative, mostly intestinal gram positive and gram negative bacteria. We have ferrous sulfate. Uh, the addition of this ingredient will help uh, in the detection of hydrogen sulfide production by the bacteria. Agar is used to, to make the medium solidify or gel like, and due to this way, a surface will be provided for the bacteria through which the bacteria can grow. Distal water or we can say uh, deionized water is used uh, to mix all these ingredients. Then we have the preparation. How we can prepare it? Uh, so we can easily prepare it uh, when we have the ingredient which we talked in the composition in one liter. L uh, uh, moreover, we have also the you know uh, bottle that contain all the ingredient which we talked. So what we will do? We you know take 52.33 grams of the powder this bismuth sulfate agar medium and then we will dissolve it in 2000 ml or we can say 1 liter distal water after that we will heat to boil it due to this way the medium will completely dissolve next step that's really important remember this media should not be sterilized as well as not be overheating why because this uh, pro uh, thi these types of uh, you know sterilization will uh, destroy the selectivity of the medium. Next, we have to mix uh, it well, and uh, when we mix it well, so we will depress suspension and pour thick plate. Okay. Uh, next point says that uh, we have to prevent the media from the dry, and we have to pour it uh, you know in a liquid form. Then we have to inoculate uh, the back uh, the this uh, plate with a uh, special type of with specimen 
with specimen then what we will do after the inoculation we will incubate this media for 48 hertz or 24 hertz at 37 or 35 degree celsius into the incubator and after that we will examine the colony okay let's suppose if there is no growth so, so then we will ha we have to you know incubate it further for 24 to 48 or more so this is how we can prepare and use this media let's see the result uh, what type of bacteria we can get so we mostly you know use as we talked uh, for salmonella and if we see enterobacter facials so there is no growth or we can say inhibited now we have some other growth like coliform bacteria in which we have klebsiella we have pseudomonas uh, uh, all these bacteria uh, we have serratia proteus uh, these types of, of bacteria are usually not grow but if let's suppose their growth are observed uh, so you have to see the green dull green brown colonies uh, and due to this way there is no metallic sheen or stain surrounding them okay now entero aeruginose and e coli there is a very poor growth of these bacteria and it will be brown green growth then we have salmonella entritis uh, salmonella boni salmonella typhi salmonella typhurium all these uh, salmonella species will uh, show good growth as well luxuriant growth and black with metallic sheen color we have salmonella pellar typhi that show light green colonies so let me uh, show the picture of these bacteria as you can see these are the growth of the bacteria so remember this first picture is actually the growth of salmonella entritis aboni typhurium and typhi but there is a question arise in our mind that how we will identify it uh, what type of bacteria it is it should it, it uh, we can say it is also salmonella entritis uh, aboni typhi typhurium but when you want to identify it uh, let's suppose if you want to identify only one species uh, so you have to perform biochemical test and another special test we, which we can say api 20 or api 10 uh, that that's really important test and uh, doing this test it will 100 percent uh, provide you the exact bacteria okay so it doesn't mean uh, that uh, you, uh, you know when you get this colony you will say that it is salmonella entritis it also be salmonella bony typhi and typhurium as well but if you want to make sure 100 percent that what type of colony these are then for this purpose you have to perform uh, salmon uh, gram uh, means uh, uh, api api test uh, api 20 test as well as a uh, different biochemical test these are the green colorless colony of the salmonella paratypha a now these are the growth of uh, salmonella as you can see this is the growth of klebsiella and this is the growth of pseudomonas although these bacteria cannot be grow but this is somehow the bacteria that is growing on this media so let's see the limitation and uh, what we have to do what should we have to uh, you know uh, means what type of uh, precautionary measurement that we have to adopt uh, while using this type of media the first thing that's really important which i already talked uh, that autoclaving and overheating should be avoided why because it destroy the selectivity of the medium next uh, it is not important that we can use salmonella uh, shigella species like uh, shigella plex renaria shigella sonia these types of the bacteria can be grow but other shigella species cannot be grow we have some other salmonella species like S. cynidia, S. bertia, S. galnerium, S. abortus, all S. servorera, all these bacteria, salmonella species cannot be grow and it will be inhibited using this medium. Then we have, uh, uh, you know, incubation period. So if let's suppose we incubate the medium, uh, means using 43 centigrade or 45 centigrade, uh, we incubate the plate. Uh, so what happened the result will be the salmonella colonies uh, we get the small salmonella colonies uh, and moreover we can uh, you know uh, lose the sensitivity showing significantly lower recovery next is that uh, now fourth point says that uh, when we prepared the media so then we have to use it within two days 
let's suppose if you use it after the th uh, after the third days or in a third days uh, then what happen the selectivity of the media will be reduced and the salmonella no the fifth point that's really important and that's is let's suppose if the colony are observed on bsa media means bismuth sulfate agar medium then remember you have to subculture it with less selective media that is the macon ki agar no why because uh, in this media the bacteria may be contaminated okay so that's all about the bismuth sulfate agar medium inshallah in the next video we will explain the brilliant green agar medium thank you so much for watching